if 2 to the x minus 2 raised to the x minus 2 is equal to 3 times 2 to the 13th, what is the value of x? So when I see a question like this, a question where you have a lot of exponents and specifically you have variables in your exponent, I'm immediately happy because I know exactly how I'm going to do it. I'm going to break uh, all my bases up into their prime factors and then I'm going to try and get uh, the bases on each side to match up so I can solve for my powers. Now one problem here is I take a look and it looks like all my bases are already broken up into their prime factors or they just they are prime. Um, and so that means uh, I need to try and rearrange uh, each side of my equation so that the bases match up and I might have to get a bit creative here. And so uh, I'm going to focus on the left side here. And so I need to do two things. I need to get, looks like I need a base three somewhere. Uh, and I also need to convert this uh, minus sign into multiplication so that my two sides match up. So how can I do that? And the way you can do that is by factoring. And so here, uh, I have two to the x minus two raised to the x minus two. And so it might not seem obviously clear uh, how I can factor here, but let's take a analogous scenario. So this would be similar to if I had something like two to the fifth minus two to the third, right? Because five is our x, then three would be our x minus two. And so if I had this, what I can do is I can factor out this two to the third, right? And so I should be able to do the same thing here with my 2 raised to the x minus 2. And so once I do that, I sort of have to reverse engineer my exponent rules. That's why I say you need to know them backwards and forwards. And so if I factor out a 2 raised to the x minus 2, that'll be times. So then to get back to 2 raised to the x, I have to multiply that by 2 squared, right? And then that will all just be minus 1. And this is all equal to and I like to, uh, when I'm doing arithmetic, arrange my bases in ascending order because it makes them easier to compare. So uh, the right side would be 2 to the 13th times 3 still. Note I haven't done anything to that side other than just swap those guys around. And so here now on the left side I have 2 to the x minus 2. Times and... This is what we wanted, right? Uh, 2 squared minus 1 is 3. And that is all equal to 2 to the 13th times 3. And so these guys cancel out. And uh, now my bases on each side match. And so my powers should be the same. And so I can just make an equation where x minus 2 must be equal to 13. Therefore, x is 15. Pretty easy problem. So this is a problem you want to get because what you want is for you to find this problem easy because other people will find it to be hard because uh, they won't necessarily know their exponent rules backwards and forwards. Uh, they won't know how to reverse engineer them uh, and therefore they will get stuck on a problem that if you know how to do it is fairly quick and fairly simple and I would guess actually uh, worth a fair amount of points.